Welcome back to Green Tea Garden. In this video, I'm going to do a quick tour of what's left of my summer plant right now, guys. Um, if you're new, I'm in Long Island, New York, and we're going on to fall weather coming up soon. It's literally 58 degrees this morning, and uh, that's pretty cold when it comes to summer plants, especially your squash, your zucchini, and cucumbers and stuff like that. And basically, the basically, guys, for the last week, what's been going on, it's been colder in the morning, colder in the night, and then later on, it gets up to 70-something to 80 degrees, and what it basically does it burns all the leaves all right guys you can see pepper hanging out there just had breakfast so good morning pep he's an early morning pig um he's been eating out my plants you can see he actually pulled out this one took some bites of this and continue so basically you could see the leaves guys look look at that cold frost coming out of it so all this water and frost that's on top of it the sun comes out it will burn the leaf crispy those got squash bug attack and then um uh, sun the hot sun comes out i do have one uh i gotta harvest that guy right there and i think there's another one a couple more store stuff i get a couple more stuff i'll get to harvest but um tomatoes are doing really well it's a hot mess i got some uh acorn squash but you could see from the squash bug sign and um the it's sunburn sunburn and squash bugs together with the weather and this right here guys uh, this is the watermelon um radish and i have some other ones there i think those are a uh, more different type of radish too and i got some beetroot in that container and i got some lettuce there so stuff is coming around this is a hot mess corn right here i'll show you guys back there the greenhouse guys my corn got roasted very sad and disappointed so he's waiting for more stuff so basically you could see i do have another one there um i gotta prune tie up uh some of these plants they're leaning over like that right there uh, you could basically see how the colors of the leaves though what's going on and you could see all my cucumber plants the leaves are all brown they're all coming down that's bottle gourd between growing running up i have one i have to harvest right there see that um so you could see look all the leaves are just done you know it's getting done these are the flowers from the bottle gourd bottle gourd guys will uh survive the fall weather see you could tell it's really sad we still got some healthy green one coming in and we do have one there i'm gonna tie it up put a longer stake see if it holds up oh got another one here too so it looks like i'm gonna get a little harvest before um you know everything comes down so i did um prune a couple days ago but i didn't come in to prune two days in two days is a lot of stuff went down but um these are some speckled bottle gourd I don't know if I have time for them to grow. Um, hopefully, they'll make it. That will be really nice. So, what I'm going to do, you can see all my cucumber plants and stuff are going there. Right, man. So, what I'm going to do, basically, I'm going to try to get in here next week to clear it up. See whatever plant, the summer plant, is not going to make it. And start making space for my uh, kale and stuff like that. I have a baby watermelon there, too. And I have some beef steak tomatoes in this plant. But um it's kinda sad and you know? a lot of weed coming up there too. It's one of my pumpkin plant. It's been getting attacked. I got so much attack from vine borders to squash bugs that it's really having a hard time growing. I do have another water a watermelon here. You see like the tendril said it's ripe. Uh, the tendril is brown. The watermelon is small yet it's not even ready so due to the weather a lot of stress on that watermelon might not make it all depends with the hot weather cold weather it puts a lot of stress on the plants so uh, sometimes it forces the plants to get you know stop the growth force it to overripe and it'll cause a lot of problem when the weather is confusing like this so so pepper if you guys know he's always you see look he reached See, I have a baby fence right now, so he can literally reach over. As you guys could see, just wanted to make this quick video. Um, I already lost so much plant, 
and I've been taken out. So, so what I'm going to do basically, I'm going to be taking out a bunch of the plants that are not going to make it and um, try to replace them with fall crops, whatever I got. I might put like a kale, one or two kale there, uh, spinach or something, because I don't have like, you know, a lot of area that I could plant. Uh, stuff and I'm running out of containers, so I might have to just end up planting some stuff like lettuce and whatever between these uh, Cutouts that I did So I close the greenhouse in at night because it gets really cold So I keep it nice warm and toasty for these guys So you see I have some new plants. They're gonna make it they have time the greenhouse We always have extra times we have like an extra month or two in the greenhouse when it's cold outside These guys are ready to harvest and um, I do have some peppers. I have to get in there, green peppers. The kids goes, Daddy, we want green peppers. And I'm like, all right. Because my garden has been producing any kind. Oh, we got cucumbers growing in here. I got a bee hanging out, one bee hanging out in this greenhouse. I hope he lives here. Drill a hole and live here, buddy. So I'm going to remove this one green beans, long green beans here up here. Oh, this one is ready to harvest. This I'm basically getting the seed. I'm letting it grow all the way out and then I'm gonna get the seed. So if you guys have a couple plants left back, uh, leave one or two of your fruit, your vegetable to grow and get ripe and get the seed. The more mature the seed, the more it will survive and it will grow better when you replant it. And if you store those seed correctly, guys, you could save it up to like a couple of years, I think three years or something like that. So I gotta come in and work in this greenhouse and see how long and how far I could, you know, this greenhouse is gonna go throughout the fall time but i'm not gonna you know winterize it or anything this winter so that's it's a challenge right now for me i'll be honest it's really ch tough and we got back to school with the kids so it's been really really crazy all right guys so just a quick video to show you um fall i'm gonna do a fall when i'm doing a cleanup pulling out some of the plants after i pull out all the plants and clean up I'll show you guys how it looks after, and um, we'll go ahead and check it out and go through all my fall crops. All right, guys, so thank you so much for watching Green Tea Garden. Please don't forget to subscribe, 100% free. Uh, any question, anything, guys, comment below. I'll see you guys next time.